such an exciting day. No, it isn't. Because I bought NFT packs I should have never purchased. I did not want these, like, at all. Wait, we're talking about the NFTs? Yeah. What do you think we're talking about? Anything but the NFTs? <laughs> One of our friends, Brian, helped me out by getting two of the Kellogg's premium packs. I did not want to do this, but he reached out and he said, Hey, I'm, do you need help? So I took him up on the offer because it was really nice of him to do that. So basically we get to blame Brian. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> we're, we're blaming my stupidity because I'm constantly doing things I should not be doing. I don't want these, like, at all. I literally did this for content. Hold on. Let me turn this, this camera around and show them my face. Yeah, I know. All right, let's open the packs. Because, you know what? Our minds may change that... Like, no, they're not going to change. Or... They're, they're still a f green chicken that nobody cares about. A Tony the Tiger baby. No, Tony the Tiger Jr. He's a baby Tony the Tiger, isn't he? Well, sort of. It's like, the dumbest sh I've ever seen. Well, it's frosted rice. Freddy Funko painted green to look like a frog. That's dumb. That is dumb. And a Cocoa Puff guy with like a cowboy hat. What are we doing? I don't know, but we're going to open packs. Are you ready? This is where my money's going. Uh, okay. How much does this cost you? This cost 30 bucks. How much did the next one cost you? 30. So oh you my God. Look at that. How could it end me with that? This pack. Can you believe that? That's that was a slap in the face. $30 full of cards that you can't hold. I got a coin. Wow, cool. Common. Oh, boy. My husband wastes all of our money. We could be doing so many things with $60. This was fun, Heather. I think that it was, it wasn't fun. This was horrible. It was horrible. This is the worst thing I've ever done in my life. Good job. Did you learn any lessons? No, probably not. Cause you're going to do it again with dumb shit that you don't even want. Cool. It's all street garbage. Thanks, Brian. Thank you so much. Thanks. This is the fakest smile I've ever given anybody. Have anything to say? Yeah. F NFTs. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas and gas. I'm glad you passed by. You get the right time. We had an all time line. Bumbles out, joys, and chimes on mine. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because that's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, that's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, that's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell it all, we are together. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm back to tell you f NFTs! They're trash! God, I hate NFTs. They're fake f trading cards. You can't even hold in your hand. You can't touch them. You can't shuffle them and deal them and deal them. F Good, I'm, I'm glad you could get it out this time. Yeah, I got it out this time because NFTs are f***ing trash. That's right, I'm back on the trash train, mother Choo choo! Trash trash! I can see the comments now. Didn't you guys love NFTs? Yeah. Didn't you guys try to convert people into loving NFTs? I did. Didn't you guys just try to make people spend their hard earned money on these fake f***ing cards that are viewable in a fake f***ing wallet? Yes, I did that also. Hypocrite! Alright, so today's NFT drop was Kellogg's, and this is one set that I did not care about at all. I didn't want to buy any of them. But, but for some reason, he thought it was a good idea to spend $60 on some NFTs. Woohoo! So I went. No, uh uh, we're not. So I went. No. You know what we could have bought with $60? Two crab cake dinners. You know what else we could have bought for $60? A third of our gas and electric bill. You know what else we could have bought with $60? A sock to shove in your mouth right now because you won't shut the f up? A new pair of Nike shoes. Put them Paylesses on, Heather. Payless doesn't even exist anymore. They don't? No. What that, happened to Payless? This is old. This is old news. Remember the other day when you didn't even realize that Dunkin' Donuts changed its name to Dunkin'? I really didn't know that. Payless is gone. Gone. Where are people buying their cheap shoes that only last a week? Walmart. Walmart.
The place to buy shoes that only last a week. Right next to the baby diapers. Okay, back to what we could buy for $60. No, 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 I want to talk about the NFTs. So we could buy about six common Funko Pops, okay. or if you're purchasing them on the Funko website, you could buy four Funko Shop exclusives. Let's just not do this anymore. You know what else you could buy? About a quarter tank of gas with $60. Okay, so Kellogg's <laughs> NFTs. I don't care about them. Most of you don't care about them. I don't them. care about them, but I bought them anyway. But we bought them because they're NFTs and we're on the NFT hype train. And by the way, yes, I like NFTs. I was just with you. Funko NFTs are only fun when you win something. And today, I won nothing, as you can see. I didn't get a grail. I didn't get a legendary. But there was one mother on the internet showing off like a big old loud mouth. Did you see? Who? His name's changed, Heather. It's no longer Dis Funko Pop Hunters. It's Dis Funko Gets Every NFT Legendary and Grail in one pack. One pack? One pack. Every single one. No, I think he's missing one, but he got them all one pack. Almost all. And I collected a bunch of comments under his particular post where people were saying that he gets everything because he's whitelisted. I've never heard of that before. I mean, I guess that's the opposite of blacklisted when you're off the list. But when you're whitelisted, Hold apparently on. you're on the list. Hold on. So the guy that has been serve cease and desist from Funko for leaking their sh is on Funko's list of give everything to them? Oh, that was a conspiracy theory. Funko never did any of those things. No. You're wrong. They've been in cahoots the whole time. They have? They're in business and he's getting free NFTs. I don't know who the f you think you are coming in here, slapping your lips around, saying things like that when you don't know what you're talking about. I know what I'm talking about. I don't about. think you do. Funko doesn't do that. As a matter of fact, when we brought Token Head on and interviewed them, Patrick and Parker stated that there is literally nothing in the packs that you purchase. Right. It's you, basically pulling from a pool of NFTs. Funko couldn't even rig it if they wanted to. Exactly. I was going to make that point, but yes, exactly. It's all completely random. So if you're saying that Dis Funko was given NFTs Dish or- trackers. What, what did I say? You called him Dis Funko. Oh, Dis NFT winner. If you're saying that Dis NFT winner was given- NFTs by Funko directly or like somebody like drop is like hooking them up. There's no way that that can happen. There is no way. I'm starting to feel like there's a way. There might be a way though because you got all today. I did. And I think Funko, you know, the people that we on all the time, I think they, they figured out your wallet ID and they gave you just all bullshit. Son of a and they, bee. they threw in one epic to make it feel like they didn't just send you shit. You know what, Funko? You know what? I was waiting for like a threat, but they didn't get one. Can we read those comments? Because I'm really, really curious about what all of those crazy people had to say. First, I wanted to talk about what was available during this drop because we didn't really talk about it. We have to wait for the comments. Well, we do, but the comments are really good, so you're going to want to stick around and listen to all the comments. But I wanted to go over the Funko Pops that were available today, the ones that I didn't give a f about but I still bought packs for. Ones that you have no idea what they are and you've never seen any of them besides Diggum the Frog, who is now Freddy Funko. Freddy Funko, Diggum the Frog, which is the dumbest Freddy so far. I absolutely hate that one. Then there's Tony the Tiger Jr. Did you watch the commercial with him? No. Oh, it's stupid. He growls. How does he great. growl? He goes, <gasps> he goes, Rrr! Roaring good, it makes you roar. <laughs> But it's like a miniature version of Tony the Tiger who says, they're great. But then you have a little miniature Tony the Tiger where he has a big growl. Like, that doesn't make any sense. No, you'd expect him to do... <coughs> we just put Gasocast t-shirts up on mischieftoys.com. Here's the front, and on the back, you get a very large We Hunt together. So head on over to mischieftoys.com to get yours today. And we have a 24-hour sale going on that's supposed to end tonight, but we're prolonging it to tomorrow, which is Wednesday, June 1st, where if you purchase a Gasolcast t-shirt, anything else in the store that you add to your cart is 15% off. You don't want to miss out. You get your Gasolcast t-shirt, any Mischief Toys gear for 15% off mischieftoys.com. So the physical NFT Funko Pops were the Tony the Tiger Jr., which is a grail. <coughs> then there's Coco the Monkey, which is a legendary. There's the Cornelius the Bird, Sugar Pops Pete, and then of course the Freddy Funko Diggum, which is a royalty collection Funko Pop. None of these are enticing to me at all. They're stupid, all of them. I bought two packs and spent $60. Quote by Christopher Gast. May 31st, 2022. <sighs> 
There were some issues though. I didn't actually get in the queue, but I know a lot of people were complaining. Apparently like the queue was f up. Oh, the queue was really bad today. And not only that, but apparently they were like line jumping links. There was line jumping links today? Mm -hmm. And a lot of people were reporting that their time kept getting pushed back further and further. Oh my God. See, I went to go on just to see what happened. And I got more than an hour wait. The only time we ever get NFTs anymore is if somebody's helping us. Like everybody else is more lucky than we are. You know, you're talking about disc trackers being whitelisted. I think you are blacklisted. I feel like I am blacklisted. Heather, enough nonsense, let's read comments. All of these comments come directly from Instagram under disc trackers where he posted that he got all of the NFTs. LMAO, I don't know why you guys freak out about this guy always getting stuff. He clearly has bots or some type of help to get everything. Calm down. Ha 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 ha! Whoever you are, you're a maniac. You only do an H and an A and H and an A. Ha ha. If you do more consecutive ha ha's, you're the joker. Uh, just so you're aware, sometimes I do like three or four ha's if I'm like really getting a good laugh out of it. Use the emojis, Heather. This drop was a joke slap emoji it actually sort of was especially if there was a bunch of jump the line passes out there yeah that's illegal this is ridiculous i had three phones and i still need it 22 minutes another phone 32 minutes and the other 42 minutes then it sold out i don't understand how people are getting it well those people only have a couple people jump in front of them in line so they can get the things or they're the line jumpers. Oh, or the line jumpers. The line jumpers. Had 25 minute wait, only for event to end, like six minutes left, cry emoji. Haven't been able to get any packs in the past two drops. It seems like the past two drops have been way crazier than all the ones before it. And I thought that this one would be a super, super dead drop because most of the comments that we were reading before the drop, people were hating on this shit. This particular drop was indeed very quick. 20 minutes in all, packs sold out. Seems like it had to be glitched out throughout the session. Seen other people getting multiple grails in one pack. What's even stranger, this is the first drop to be limited to certain countries. It's not worldwide. No, wrong. There have been other restricted drops that have occurred here. Yeah, I think that they're not sending anything at all to Russia. Russia was one of them, and then an Asian country, I think either China or Japan, was also restricted at one point. So this isn't new. Okay, so I had to leave the person's profile picture with this one because it makes the comment even better. Funko is just a waste of money now. Time to move on to other things. Laugh emoji, and then there's a wheelchair emoji, but their main photo is a Funko soda with a Funko sign behind it. Yeah, I don't think you're moving on, bro. At least change your profile picture, you dummy. I wish all the NFT haters would have changed their mind. Can't even get packs now lately, and that's 100% true. All the people who are hating on NFTs are now in. I pulled Kellogg Series 1 coin. What does that mean? I pulled this comment specifically because this was being asked throughout the post. It means you won a million dollars. Congratulations, babe. Right now, these coins do not matter at all, and we found that out during our interview with Token Head and the Drop People. They said right now there's nothing going on with the coins, but there could be something in the future. They just said there's a possibility. You guys are buying NFTs as stocks and crypto plummet. You think NFTs are gonna be worth anything? Waste of time. These people think people are in it for the cryptocurrency when they're only in it for the physical drops. Yeah. That's what most people are after. They do not care about the NFTs in this Funko community. They no. want the physical Funko Pops because they're limited and they're really special because Funko doesn't do special anymore. Missed out on the last two drops. All the haters finally changed their mind. You know who you are. Yeah, a lot of people are changing sides. People who once hated NFTs are now liking NFTs. You don't like NFTs. You on them all the time. I support you in your NFT journey. And when they come out with horror, let's My be NFT real. NFT journey? It is a journey. Stop Do talking. Do I look like a 20-something blonde-haired girl from Stop California? Talking. I'm not on a journey, Heather. My journey was over when I met you. The f*** does that mean? It means that we're on a journey together now. That's what it means. Yeah, good save. Great. I sat in the queue for 20 minutes and got to watch the progress meter slowly count down until they were sold out. This is the second time this has happened, so I'm officially done with NFTs. That's literally what people say when they have no self-control and end up buying again, like me. Kellogg's.
And this is probably my favorite of the entire day. This is the same person, but two comments. I could have gotten some, but passed. NFTs are a joke, and the market for them crashed big time. Their second comment? What do you think it is? I hate NFTs. Congrats on the pools! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Fire emoji, clap emoji! What? Yeah, so congratulations, Dis Funko Pop Trackers. You just turned the guy to the dark side. All right, so that was the NFT drop for today, and um, yeah, f everything. I could have literally spent that money on anything and been happier. Literally anything else, I would have been happier. We could have purchased a brand new PlayStation 5 game with it. All right, but so... But instead, you had to spend all of our money on Kellogg's NFTs where you didn't get fucking anything, and even if you did, you would hate yourself because they fucking sucked. But it's cool. Not a big deal. I'm not going to hold this against you forever. Psych, I fucking will. What did you think about today's NFT Kellogg's drop? Did you get what you wanted? Did you not buy them at all? Do you think they're trash? Did you think they were trash before and now you love them? Or did you love them and now you think they're trash? What side of the street are you on? We want to know in the comment section down below. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we like to shout out to Andy Jensen, Headless Ned Stark, Migo, Simon Holden, Shooting Star 710, Chris Haskell, Sam Studley, Ozzy Poppin' Paul, Spidey Bob, and Iron Mule Pops. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys rock. Make sure you head over to 7 com on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. That's when they do their big pop drops, and you can pick up an awesome grail. Also, before you leave the page, make sure you pick up a pop shield armor. They're the best way to protect your grails. Do you want to see something one of my good friends picked up for me on 7 com? So a friend of mine contacted me last week and said, Hey, do you have the Cruella Funko Pop? And he sent me a picture of it. And I said no. And he said, Okay, now you do. And he bought it for me. You don't even like Cruella. I fucking love Cruella, and you know what I like We more? watched the live-action movie and you fell asleep. You never even finished it, Heather. I finished it the next day, stupid. What even made this person think that you wanted this Funko Pop? I don't get it. Uh, because I love the movie, and I am basically in love with Emma Stone. And if she were in front of me, we would be in a relationship. Anyway. So all of a sudden you watched the first five minutes of a film, and now you love it? I watched the whole When? Thing. Never. The day after. The day after. The day after you're sleeping. Anyway. Look, it came in one of their pop shields. How amazing is that? I want to say this was rated like an eight. But when I looked at it, I could not find any flaws. So I just wanted to say that seven bucks a pop has a very strict grading policy. And I think that that's a good thing because their eight to me means a 10. I can't find any issues with her. And I think she's beautiful, isn't she? She's a great figure, Heather. Congratulations on something that you don't even know anything about. Thanks, 7 com, and thank you so much, Asim, for getting her for me. I love her. Hey, Asim, if you don't mind, send me a Harry Potter pop, because I f***ing hate Harry Potter. You're so stupid. All right, it's that time again. Remember, as always, we are together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.